RB Leipzig handed Dortmund the first home Bundesliga defeat in over two years in an action-packed affair. Christian Pulisic rose Dortmund's missed chances after RB Leipzig snapped the 41-game home Bundesliga unbeaten run. Peter Bos said discusses the tactical change he made at halftime of Borussia Dortmund's loss to RB Leipzig. A frenetic Bundesliga top spiel on Saturday night marked the first loss of the season for Borussia Dortmund against RB Leipzig in a highly entertaining 32 home defeat. For BVB, an impressive 41-match home unbeaten streak in the league came to an end as they failed the first domestic litmus test against a top-four team. The 81,000 spectators created an electric atmosphere at the Westfalen Stadion, while a five-goal thriller unfurled on the field that included two penalties and a sending off a piece, as both Dortmund's Socrates Papastathopoulos and Leipzig's Stefan Ilsanko were sent to the showers in the second half. Positives Nobody picked up an injury for Dortmund, the positives already end there as they come out of match day 8 empty-handed. Negatives It was very much a statement game for the Ruhr side against an opponent that is brimming with talent. It was the third loss in the third high-profile match of the season after 31 defeats against Tottenham and Real Madrid in the Champions League for Dortmund, with a worrying trend coming apparent that the black and yellows seem not competitive against top opposition, although for once, the high defensive line was not the issue. The loss is even more painful as Leipzig had two of the best players in Timo Werner and Emil Forsberg unavailable. Bayern Munich who bounced back with a resounding 50 win against Freiburg under newly installed coach Jupp Heimkes will have gleefully watched as Peter Bos's side were held at arm's length by Ralf Hasenhuttl's team that had the tactical edge over the hosts. In the title race, it was a big momentum swing in favour of the Bavarians as Dortmund's five-point advantage shrunk to two points at the top of the table. Manager rating out of 10 for Boz approach seems highly predictable with opponents getting a better feel for how to stifle BVB. With Julian Weigel, Mahmoud De Herd and Mark Bartra a press-resistant axis was left on the bench and came to haunt Dortmund. The 53-year-old's half-time switch to three at the back was punished within minutes. Game cast lineups and stats player ratings, 110-10 best. Players introduced after 70 minutes get no rating GK Roman Berkey, 6 looked a bit awkward coming off his line as Marcel Sabitzer equalised but otherwise saved his team from even more embarrassment, making a handful of vital saves. Had to play a disturbing amount of long balls due to the lack of creativity of his teammates. His pass to Julian Weigel right after the break was easy prey for the guests, ultimately resulting in a third goal. DF Jeremy Tolgin, due to the ligament injury Lukasz Piszczek picked up during the international break became all the more worrying as Tolgin had a night to forget. After 10 minutes, he let Marcel Halstenberg head the ball in box uncontested with the equaliser being the ultimate consequence. 15 minutes later he was eaten alive by Brumer, who simply ran around the right back to set up Leipzig's second. Hence his shift ended after 45 minutes. DF Socrates Papastathopoulos, for his tug on Jean Kevin Augustin in the 47th minute rightfully resulted in a penalty for the guests and a red card for Socrates. DF Omar Toprak, 5 arguably the best defender of a shaky backline. DF Dan Axel Zagadou, 5 could not quite impose himself going forward as left back but did not get overrun like his counterpart Tolgin, either. MF Mario Goetze 8 BOS said said that Goetze used the international break to improve his fitness and that was for everyone to see. A sublime performance by the midfielder, who was the best Dortmund player on the pitch. MF Nuri Zahin, 4 signalled that he was taken off due to an elbow to the face at halftime while walking past journalists but might as well have been subbed off as he was constantly overrun by Leipzig in midfield. MF Gonzalo Castro, 5 BVB hardly had any structure in the possession. It had to do with Leipzig's setup but also with Castro too often hiding in the cover shadow. FW Andre Yarmolenko, 7, the Ukrainian lobbed an audacious pass into to the path of Obama Yang and probably should have scored himself at the death of the game. FW Piri Marik Obama Yang, 7 responsible for BVB's early lead, as he stole the ball off Ilsanka and he had no trouble to slot it into the far corner in the fourth minute. His penalty in the 64th minute made it a brace but the Gabon international also missed two sitters which proved costly in a close contest.
FW Maximilian Philip, 5 was not much of a factor and was subbed off in the 51st minute after Socrates' red card. Perimrik Aubameyang got Dortmund off to a fast start against Leipzig with a goal in the fourth minute on Saturday night. Substitutes MF Julian Weigel, 6 apologised to his teammates after losing the ball early in the second half against three Leipzig players which led to the 31 although there were not too many things he could have done about it. FW Christian Pulisic, 6 created a lot of momentum in the second half but his actions never translated into a full chance for his team. DF Mark Bartra, 7 after coming on in the 51st minute BVB unsurprisingly had better ideas when playing out of the back. Arguably should have started over either Toprik or Socrates. Stefan Bushko covers Borussia Dortmund for ESPN FC. Twitter at Stefan Bichko.